Ladies and gentlemen, we are now officially in the Beyond Light era of the Destiny franchise. After enduring a season that might have dragged on for a little bit too long, having our Postmaster constantly jammed up with Umbral Ingrams, and after experiencing a season-ending event that was... well, it was what it was. The Traveler's all healed up, the darkness is closing in, and our Guardians are heading for Europa. But the first question that I always have with every new season or expansion is, what's going on at the Tower? You know, what's new? What got added? What got changed? And what do these NPCs have to say for themselves? If the act of combing over a social hub immediately after launch doesn't bring you joy in the same way it brings me joy, I got you covered. I got everything wrapped up in a nice little condensed package for you right here. So you can get the quick rundown on what's going on with minimal interruption from doing what you actually want to be doing playing the new content. And be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy or appreciate this video. It's gonna be a real busy next couple of weeks around here and I'm gonna be doing my best to keep up with everything going on with Beyond Light. But with that out of the way, let's have a look around. Well, first thing we'll have a look at, we'll hang a left, we'll head down to the hangar and see if there's anything going on down there. Just for the smell of it, we'll check out the old Future War Cult hangout and, uh, Lashmi is completely gone. So, maybe we'll check in with Amanda Holiday, see if we got any new ships or sparrows or anything like that. And looks like business as usual here. Nothing, nothing new at all. Now, we'll head over to see old Saint-14 and see if he's got anything to say. And he actually does have a few lines of text if you'd like to read them at your own leisure. But after that, nothing new yet. Come back and check with him on Friday when Trials opens back up. Traveling back up to the main tower courtyard, we can see that the Traveler is now whole again. Following last night's end of season mission, the Traveler was able to uh, put himself back together. Looks nice. And heading over to Master Rahul, he has a uh, exotic sparrow for me. I think this was probably one of the pre-order bonuses for Beyond Light, but eh, looks, looks okay. Next, we will head over to the Postmaster. And all I have in there is an old shader that I couldn't carry. So nothing new and exciting here. And over to Eververse, and she's obviously going to carry her new seasonal suite of goodies, cosmetics, ghost shells, sparrows, ships, emotes, finishers, all the normal stuff. But for Beyond Light, most of the stuff for silver is brand new. If you have not done so already, I would highly recommend going down to the Bright Dust section and picking yourself up the Vigil for Saint-14 ornament for Vigilance Wing. I have been kicking myself for not picking this up when it was first available, but it really, really makes the sights a lot better on this gun. I highly recommend grabbing it. Heading over to Zavala, we do see that he has the new set of seasonal armor. Now this armor will share the same geometry through the Vanguard, Crucible, and Gambit game modes but the coloring and ornamentation is going to be different. Moving over to visit Lord Shax, we see that he also has his new seasonal armor available, along with his standard Crucible bounties. This armor I actually think is looking pretty nice, that black and red matches my gloves. I dig it. And now we're into something juicy, because over by our vaults, there is the Monument to Lost Lights. This is the kiosk where you're going to be able to acquire retired raid exotic weapons or exotic weapons that were available from previous seasons that you weren't able to pick up. Do keep in mind though that all of these exotics do have a hefty price tag, and the raid exotics will require you to get the Spoils of Conquest currency available from doing raids. On top of that, under the Legacy Gear tab, you will be able to acquire Pinnacle and Ritual weapons from seasons past. The one weapon that I did not see in this vault is Felwinter's Lie. So if you didn't acquire it in Season of the Worthy, I'm not 100% sure how you can get it now. Over to see our gunsmith, Banshee44, and this is where you will find the quest to pick up the new Pinnacle Adored Sniper Rifle. You're gonna have to make a choice between Vanguard, Crucible, and the Gambit route, but all three options are available to you here. Aside from that, you're seeing your standard fare of bounties, upgrade materials, and mods. And next, we'll go down and visit Ikora Ray, just on the off chance that she actually might play a useful role in the tower this season. She does have a little bit of text for us to read, that's encouraging, but unfortunately after that, the story continues. Ikora is currently doing nothing. And to be fair, I ran straight to the tower to do this video, I, I didn't even do the opening mission of Beyond Light. So of course, these things are subject to change, but right now, she's empty. Going to see Hawthorne, she wants to give us a little talking to also. But after that, same old, same old. Clan bounties, or you could pick yourself up some sweet green gear if you wanted to. 
But after that, we'll make our way down to the tower annex. We'll go check on Ada One in the old black armory room, and it appears to be closed for business. Not only has that content been removed from the game, but you can't even get back in the room to see the sights. And over to see the Drifter, who is still here. I don't know if he just didn't leave yet, or if he's gonna remain posted up in the tower through this expansion, but time will tell. Here again, standard bounties, some old Gambit gear, and a new seasonal armor set. Like we talked about before, pretty much identical to the Vanguard and Crucible set, but this is the Gambit version. And just one more stop to make before we close things out here. Do a little ditty over this way, slink around the corner, and Sweeperbot is gone. Which, I mean, this this is a real shame. I don't, I don't even want to see how filthy these floors get without him around. But that's, that's going to wrap us up here. Please like if you did enjoy the video. Please consider subscribing to see more content from me going into Beyond Light. You can find Ironworker814 on Twitch. I will be streaming this week. And if you want to contact me, just comment down below. I'll be sure to get back to you. But with all that being said, you guys are awesome, and I will catch you on the next one.